Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all will help the channel grow, and they help get this out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we were continuing to work on our turbo fuel plant, um, and we were needing to start trying to get the compacted coal over there, and we built a little bit of a garage, and then I kind of filled it in at the end of the episode. I also did a little bit more admin work because you'll notice we don't have giant lifts coming out of the back of this truck station because we're over here by our coal power plant where we're making our compacted coal uh, because I tidied it up. So effectively now instead of having all the messes going across the ceilings we've got our five constructors, assemblers, our five assemblers here, we've got the two belts, I've got the spare coal flowing into those two buffers there. And the sulphur is coming across the top and going into that one there. So it's all a bit more tidy. And then all the compacted coal is coming into these two buffers here. Purely because it was tidier to do that as a right angle than try and fit the buffer in there. So it comes in that one. Goes around the back here. Just so I can turn it around and spits it out. Using the two outputs. One's going to fuel. One's going to transport. So what we need to get to done today is we need to head over to the coal. Uh, or to the turbo fuel factory because we need to finish the garage because off camera I've done a little bit of aesthetic work on the uh, coal plant but I've not actually changed I'm going to say any of the plumbing or the insides because I know that's the kind of stuff you guys like to see uh, but I figured you wouldn't want to see me putting up uh, wouldn't want to see me just you know putting some concrete walls on so let's head over to the garage uh, because we're going to need to sort out the logistics of getting that compacted coal upstairs. But I have to admit, I'm kind of happy with how the plant is looking at the moment. So there it is. It's got a load of walls. We've got some lovely windows. I've got a bit of definition here. And we've got doors with entrance and exits. So, here we are. I've put some lights in so we can see what's going on during the dark. This is our garage. This guy's got in and cannot figure out a way out, but oh well. The water pipe that was kind of running at an angle is now just running straight up to deal with the plastic and the fabric. We have somewhere over here. There it is. So there is our lift that's going to go straight up. So we need to get our where are we, truck station down. Floor's nice and flat. clearance is that encroaching on? Oh, give over. You don't like the light. You're having a laugh, aren't you? You don't like the light. Right, let's just plug that back in there for a minute then. Are you going to go in now I've taken the light out? Yes. Okay. You're happy now I've taken the light out. How far back can I get that? Okay. Let's try it there. And then we are going to need... Well, I'm going to need to sort out that bit in a moment. So... Nope. Right, actually. One bit I do need to check with the truck station. Okay, so this is the output one. So it's that one that I need to get lined up. So... There it is there. I genuinely did not think of the lights. Which is really annoying me. Right, okay. Truck station. In fact, what I should probably do is bring... Where are we? Logistics. Bring one of these down. Like that. And then I can... Line the truck station up with that. Okay. That looks like it'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then that runs straight into there. I do want to put a splitter on here. Because I don't know that the fuel will make it all the way. So I just want to put some fuel in on both sides. 
so that will do that. We are overproducing the coal that we need, so we should be alright there. So now, we need to get some power. Come on. There we go. Right, into that truck station. Then, let's go. I'm really annoyed about those lights. I genuinely didn't think about that. That's fine. We'll have to try and look at some other lights we can put over there then. Right, so... I'm going to try and do it, not with a tractor. I want to try and do it with a truck. So, let's grab our truck. Let us fill it with... I don't have any compacted coal. Oh, no, I do have compacted coal on me. We'll fill it with compacted coal, so it's compatible right from the word go. We will start recording. And your route, my friend, is going to bring you around here at the exit. Have I made those big enough? No. Okay, well, there's problem the first. Well, let's fix that then. I'm now wondering, is that sign going to be too low? Right. How does that work? Is that going to let you out? That's going to let you out. Okay. All right. Then we'd get a, better get rid of that. No, not the wall. I want the... Not the truck station. Give me the gate. There we go. There we go. Right, okay. So now we should be able to get the truck back in. Did not think about that. I thought the gate would be tall enough for it. Okay. Here we go. You go in. Right. And we will stop here. You are an... Unloading dock. Right. Start recording. Let's try that again. So you're going to come round. Make use of the nice turning space that we've given you. And come out this way. The beans are going to get in the way. Right. Now this is where I'm hoping the truck... Because I know we had trouble with it before. I'm hoping that this time it's going to have the oomph to get up all the hills and everything that we need to do. So, heading up here. Okay, so what I'll do is I will make a cut. Uh, or, I'm going to try and do a time lapse. So, we'll either see a time lapse or a cut. Depends how good I can get it to go. Okay, so here we are, we're back, we're now unloading the truck, uh, and yeah, so that's either going to have been a cut or a time lapse. I'm hoping I can figure out a time lapse, but I had difficulty last time I did that. So, that's now loading up there quite nicely. That's fine, okay, and then we will enable the autopilot. And that's all going to go. Right, okay. So, that means we can now head upstairs. And I'm going to try and probably off-camera put Hypertube Network up there. So, I have... Like I say, made the front look quite nice. I quite like that. The back is completely exposed at the moment. Because I've no idea where I'm going to put these fuel uh, bits. I have detailed the corners with the beams, as you can see along there. Just turn the light off. Uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's going to look. I've glassed the entire top floor. Inside, like I say, is completely untouched. Everything is as it was. I've not moved anything or along those lines. So it's all exactly where it was. I've just put a wall up here so I could glass the roof so I could run the power lines for our... Why does that not have compacted coal? Oh, it's coming. There it is. Here comes our compacted coal. 
which means these guys should now be making turbo fuel. Nice! Right, which means we can turn these off because we're going to need them elsewhere. But that should then start all of this making turbo fuel, which is good. They've all turned on. Lovely. We've got our turbo fuel in there. And that's now filling up. Lovely. Awesome. Okay, so you don't have your compacted coal yet. Why not? Because I didn't actually connect you up. That would do it. Right, okay. And here I am, trust, hoping and trusting my maths from... What was it, last week? Week before? That I've got all of the ratios figured out right. There we go. Okay, so you haven't quite got your coal yet. Why? Ah, it's because it is on a manifold, so the first one does actually need to fill up. So that'll do it. But hopefully we'll see the track to come back before this runs out. Where is it? No, M. Where is it? Look, truck's already on its way back, which is good. And that doesn't look like it's showing any signs of running out yet. Fuel is going. Yeah, and that fuel should all start be using up once, or should start all being used up. Looks like it's getting a little stuck on a couple of things. That's just going to sort itself out. Right, okay, so let's go and figure out how we're going to use all of this turbo fuel. So I could extend backwards out to just run all the uh, fuel power plant there. But I'm kind of thinking yeah, I don't really have a nice floor here. I want to just drop it down and maybe run it down here. So if we head back upstairs nope, fuel pack's not going to let me do that. Okay, right. Well, that's bothering me. Let's fill that in. And that in. Right, okay, so let's go and run, whoop, autosave. Let's go put a pipe floor hole in. Whoa, getting myself all turned around. Over here. How are you guys? That is filling up, not quite as quick as I thought it was going to, but okay. It's fine. Right, we want a pipe floor hole. And then we'll pop you straight in there. So how much turbo fuel are we actually making? When this is all up to speed, we are making 18 5 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, oh, eighteen point seven five times ten, because the last one is underclocked from memory. Yep. So that's one hundred eighty-seven point five plus twelve and a half. Ah, 200. So we're making 200 a minute. Okay, nice round number to work with there. There's that pipe dropping down. So that's dropping down all the way over there. Right, zoop. Because we're going to need to get over there to bring it down. Bring you straight down. The challenge with that is it's kind of tricky to see where it is. So it's just there on. Yeah, that's to the edge there. So it should be here. So if I do that. 
that should be dead straight. Lovely. Okay. Now, fuel generators. Oof, they're big. I forgot how big they are, which means we are going to need to extend this floor out that way. Okay. Okay. So this is where it comes down, and... Floor is too steep. Okay, um, but I can fit it in like... Yeah, let's push it out one more foundation, give us a bit more room to work with. And then we can hopefully get the... Ah, out of, out of concrete. Of course I am. Right, well let's build it as far as we can. I'm kind of really glad I built that little concrete factory out here now. Right, okay, so. There we go, there's our first fuel generator. And I know we're going to be able to use a few of these. Right, let's line them up. Right, let's start with four. And we'll see where that gets us. So. Just run all this along. So we're going to need to burn 200 turbo fuel a minute to keep everything going. That's a lovely corner. I like that. Right, and then you're going to go in there. You'll go into that one. Let's start this going. Nope, this one's not straight. Which means that one's not straight. There we go. Okay, so you can go into there, you'll go into there, you will go into here, and you'll go into here. Okay, so that's all filling up, which is good. You will use 4.5 a minute. Okay, so we've got 200 divided by 4.5. Oh, blimey. Okay. So we can run basically 45 of these bad boys. Jeez, ooh. Okay. That's a silly amount of power. That is a crazy amount of power. Okay. Okay. What's under here? Hmm. Where am I going to have space for 44 of these things? Uh, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about power for a while. Okay, well, let's just start these, you know, four burning, because that's clearly not going to be enough. Okay, alright. How much of a power bump have you four given us? Okay, so we were at by four, and now at 600, so each of those is giving us ooh, 150 watts. And we can build an awful lot more of them. Okay, so we need 40 of these. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more stuff. It's the only thing to it. I've still no idea where I'm going to put 40 of these. And I know I could turn some of this turbo fuel into, um, like, package turbo fuel and use that. But I don't need to. Because the fuel I'm producing at the moment is 
fine for what we're running so far. And I, again, I know I could overclock these as well. But I don't want to overclock them because the overclocking on power is um, kind of the inverse to when you overclock a machine. So when you overclock a machine, it uses, not exponentially, but it uses more power than it should. So if you use, if you overclock it 200%, it uses more than 200% of power. Same with these. If you overclock it by 200%, it will use 200% of the resources, but you don't get 200% of the power out. You get less than, so that's kind of the inverse. So I kind of want to make these as efficient as possible, which means I need 40 of them. So that's, what, 5? I'm going to be concreting this whole area, aren't I? What am I going to lose out of that? Nothing that I can see. I don't see any, uh, any resources out there. Okay, right. Concreting it is then. But that is it. We've got turbo fuel. And it's going. And it's running. And it's beautiful. I'm so pleased about it. Right, okay. How much concrete have we built up in here where you've been wearing away? Take all of it. And then we're going to have to beautify more of this. Now, I have got a question for you guys. And I would like to hear it on the comments. I've been, um, like I say, making it look pretty off-camera. Would you rather see me do that? Because I will level with you. I presumed you guys would find it not that interesting watching me run, you know, concrete walls around the place for an hour. Um, I know the obvious answer would be to do that kind of thing as a live stream so I can chat with you. But I'm going to level with you. The balance between having a... Because I do have a full-time job other than this. This this is, this is done for joy um, having a full time job and a family does mean that like my times to do live streaming would be severely limited it's it's not something I'm capable of doing um, super regularly it's, it's, it's just not I'm afraid so I do it when I can but it does mean that when I do do it it's normally short notice and I can't yeah I need motors I'm going to need to go back and grab so much more stuff Oh my god, I don't even know if I've got that many computers yet. Okay, right, well, let's do a cut and see what I can get, because I can't do anything else at the moment. Right, what have I got in my inventory? Yeah, I'm going to need to dump a load of that stuff. Right, where's the car? Oh yeah, we left it down in the garage. I have to say, though, I'm really pleased with how this little garage has worked out. I think it's really, really cool. Right. And that is definitely not running out of compacted coal at the moment, which is good. But to be fair, we're not burning all of our turbo fuel. Okay, so. Kind of wish the beam would get out. But ho-hum. Um, one thing I do want to say as well is I want to say thank you for all of the, the lovely comments and everything that have been coming through recently. They've been super helpful. Um, really useful. Loads of really interesting comments on sort of how the build and everything's going and I love to see all of that and, and interact with you guys I hope you guys find it okay um no interest in the gas got set off uh so yeah I, I absolutely love that and I kind of hope you guys sort of keep that up um I have completely lost my train of thought there no can't remember where I was going with that other than, yeah, thank you. Keep all the comments up. I, I love reading them and, and interacting with you guys. Um, whoop. Oh, yeah, that was it. I've... One of... Uh, Zach has been um, basically pointing out other YouTubers and, and sort of things to look at. And he, he referenced I'm Kibitz, which was interesting because he was like, oh, I don't know whether you've heard of I'm Kibitz. Or it was like, I've, I've referenced you to I'm Kibitz and stuff and we'll see what happens. Um, and I was like, oh, the irony there is... Uh, I'm actually currently watching his original playthrough from like season one when Satisfactory was still in like super early access and he was doing the like week one early access release, which is really interesting to see how things have changed. Right, what can I drop off? I can drop off that. Don't need the fabric, don't need that at the moment. Uh power shards. Don't need plastic for it. 
Don't need that. We're gonna need some of that for wiring. I'll need the quick wire. Let's drop off some of those. I don't need the quartz crystals. Don't need the silica. Okay, let's go and see how how much I can fill up on them from what I'm going to need for all these fuel generators. So, first things first, I'm going to try and grab the motors. I already don't think I'm going to have enough room to carry all the motors. 44 fuel generators. I admit one of them's underclocked. Oh god, if it's underclocked, it's not going to use all of the... Oh, that's going to make life really awkward to try and work out for the power. Right, uh, motors. There you are. Right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's all the motors I need. Ooh. Right. Quick wiring computers. They're over here. Throw myself off. God, I feel so long ago that we were doing this. Right, the quick wire container is down here. Right, and I need. There we go. That's all the quick wire. The one that's worrying me is computers because I've got a constructor working in the background putting them together but it's working in the background it's not dedicated to try and make them yeah let's just run out of a couple of things it needs so I don't know how many it's made okay all right that's going to give us some Whoa. heavy modular frames okay and now I can't grab the plastic or the rubber Okay, seeing as this is full, I'm just going to drop in all that concrete for the moment. Uh, I know, I can bin those two bits of rebar. Right, let's see how we're doing on the rubber. Because I haven't got enough heavy modular frames. There we go, that's the rubber. No, okay, right, so that means we're going to have to take a trip back to come and do more. But let's try and set this up. But I will need to try and sort out the computers, but I think that's going to be a... Uh, oof. I need to double the number of computers I've got. I think we're going to need to start doing some automated on those manufacturers, so automating the heavy modular frames and the computers, because at the moment they're, all, they're both being hand-fed for a few of the resources, which is slowing down how quickly they get made. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the next step. But I think that's going to require a logistics centre so that I can kind of centralise resources before I start sending them off places. Go on, go on, go on. No, you're not going to play ball. Where are you rolling off to now? Right, okay. I just can't believe how many fuel generators this thing's going to need. And I've just realised I've dropped all the concrete off, so I'm going to need to grab some more from over here for the ceilings. So I can actually run power along the ceilings for all these. Right, okay. So, let's have a look. That's our oil production. It's nice to see that running again. So we've got banks of five. So 45 would be, what, nine banks of five? Oh my god. This is going to be huge. Okay, alright. So. Oh, no, I didn't mean to bring you out. I wanted it. Butt it up as much as I can. One, two... Three, four, 
five. Okay, and then the way I'm basically going to logistics this out is I'm going to put a cross point here. And then I'm just going to run a bank opposite this so they share these cross points. And then I'll just alternate which, ways round, which way rounds they're facing. No, that wasn't lined up. There we go. Okay. Oh, blimey. I'm still wrapping my head around how much that's actually going to do. And, I mean, the byproduct from all of this is we're making fabric and plastic as well. And it's like, if I decide I don't need fabric anymore, I can just change that fabric to rubber. And then we're just going to make a chunk of that as well. Right, okay. So, I need to grab you. Now I don't have the concrete, do I? No, but I have used up some resources, so hopefully that will give me some space for some concrete. Okay, we'll just quickly run out. I will be honest, I'm not quite sure how long this episode's going to be, because I forgot to pause my little stopwatch while I was doing the, um... What's either going to be the cut or the time lapse where I was setting up the truck route. So that's going to be where it's going to be interesting. Right, okay, so we want to bring this around here. And then we want to bring this around here. Where's the pipe? There it is. One, two. And that's going in there. Okay, so that's then going to fill all this up with turbo fuel. And then you guys are going like that. Three. Four. You're going to tell me you haven't got room for that, aren't you? That's really annoying. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to need to bring... Yep. That ceiling out. For speed for the episode, I'm just going to do that just so I can run the power lines. You're maxed. Okay, right. Well, let's cut the U. And we'll bring you right there. And then you can do that. And then you're going to come here. And then we're just going to start wiring this in. So you can do this one. And the one opposite. You can do that one. And the one opposite. And then we'll bring... Whoop, come on. So fiddly aiming straight up like this. You will do that one. And that one. And then we'll go a bit further on. You will do that one. And that one. And then a bit further on. You can do the one on the end. Okay, so what's that done to our power grid? Yep, that's climbed up quite nicely. 
We are burning all this, well, I say all of this, we are burning a chunk of turbo fuel. But I mean, wow, that's just... Yeah, that actually needs to be... a pipeline cross. Because we're going to be bringing that further up. There we go. That's going to fill all those back up again. I mean, it's just like... Look how quickly that's flooding in. Okay. Right. Well, this is where I'm going to call this episode. But I think that's... that's. I might have to do some of this off camera. Just to fill in the rest of these... Uh, the 29 fuel generators. Just to burn all this turbo fuel off. Wow, okay. That's an awful lot. And then at some point we are going to need to... What I want to do is set up a train line to take all of this fabric and all of the plastic we've got in this top container uh, back over to our main base. Because you can see our main train route there, so I want to set up a train station for it. At the moment, all the fabric is just being put in here in this awesome sink where we're up to 26 tickets so yeah that's that's what we're going to do I need to finish building this out and getting more I'm going to need so much more concrete I might need to go somewhat that way a bit as well oh wow okay yeah this is going to be a bit of a busy build but I think a load of that's going to be off camera but as usual likes, comments, subscriptions they help the channel grow they help get this out in front of other people so thank you very much to those of you that do that um, yeah this has blown my mind I didn't realise it was going to be quite this big I didn't realise they'd burn the turbo fuel that slowly but other than that, thank you all very much for joining me, and I will catch you all next time.